Okay, so we're here to talk about the internet timeline. Where it starts is a nerd called Leonid Kleinrock who wrote about how the internet could be created all the way back in 1961. Then, seven years later, BBN, a company that helped make the internet, created the first proto-internet. And the next year, they, they did a monumental occasion and sent the first word from one computer to another. The word was login, except only the L and O made it before it crashed. Then, three years later, BBN developed email with the ability to send information to other computers. And a year later, the development on the World Wide Web began, which, was, which is the internet we know today. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> nice try, fake Mason. Let's continue this lesson. The internet as an idea has existed for over 60 years, originally called Appernet, when Leonardo Kilnrani wrote about it in 1961. The internet was first released to the public in 1983, where it could do very simple tasks, not of what we can do today, like play massive video games or other stuff, but it can do a few basic things. You could send emails and other stuff like that. The internet was a fast way to access, or is a fast way to access widespread information. Before, you had to use something called an encyclopedia, which I hope you know about, because I certainly do. In the beginning of the internet, it was very slow sometimes. During the course of the internet and how it's developed, many things have changed. Like, the culture on the internet has changed a lot. Like, especially meme culture, what biographies, and everything else, including what is morally right on the internet. The internet has changed how we live our lives. It helps us find jobs, eat, learn new skills, meet new people, help us solve crimes, and other various things. It's also helped us with school. As you can recall, a few years ago, when we couldn't go to school, we relied on the internet. Back in the day, we probably would have had to do something else for school, as we didn't have the internet, and we had to stay socially distanced from everyone. Remember, so over there. Mason, what is this? Uh, 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 uh casualties. <laughs> A search engine is defined by the Oxford American Dictionary as a program that searches for and identifies items in a database that corresponds to keywords or characters specified by the user, used, used especially for finding particular sites on the World Wide Web. Whenever you search something, you are using a search engine. Some popular search engines include Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Even YouTube is a search engine. The first search engine was called Archie. The name Archie came from the word archive. Archie is not what a modern, what a modern search engine looks like today looks like. The user needs to put in data before searching. Now search engines only need user input keywords from a search bar. The way that the internet has evolved over time is truly magnificent, becoming easier to use each step of the way. Jane, remember when I promised never to continue this stupid joke? Yep. I lied.